Good morning. Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, oh, what is it? The 15th. The 15th of May, Tuesday, May 15th. Daily vibes, daily energies. Well, apparently they want to come out, huh? They just don't want me to shuffle them. Five of Swords. Conflict. Tension. Power struggles. <laughs> Anxiety, depression, sadness, guilt. I've been defeated. How could you do this to me? Somebody has a new a new a new spark, a new beginning, a new partner. New exciting opportunity right here. I'm letting go of this sorrow. I'm letting go of this defeat. I've cried about it long enough anyway. I don't need to be a part of this anymore. I think many of you have, you know, the fire has been relit within you because you've decided to let go. You've decided to let go of this despair and this losing sleep and even thinking about this betrayal. I mean, yeah, I mean, why, why? Why why should I even think about this anymore when, when I have a new opportunity coming, something more exciting? I've grown. I've grown. This sorrow, this, this, you know, true, what is it? True sorrow, true grief brings growth. True hurt brings growth. Somebody has went through a very sorrowful time. It hurt really bad. Caused a lot of sleepless nights. But it made them grow. And now they're being given a new opportunity. Okay? A new passionate, exciting opportunity. True suffering brings growth. That's what it was. Yeah, there was a period of time where somebody was so closed off and emotionally unavailable that they couldn't even think or get up or get out of this state, you know? It was just like, I can't even face the truth. But it feels like as time went by, somebody decided to make a, a solid decision to follow their heart, to love themselves again, to give the, to treat themselves with compassion and remove themselves from this hurtful situation. And I feel like there was a decision that was made like that instant. It was like instantly. I've suffered <coughs> kind of like this. I mean, this is just a scenario. It's, you know, this is just an idea so you guys can understand. You go to bed at night and you're crying. And you have that uh, dark night of the soul moment. Okay? You have that. You hit rock bottom. That's what it looks like. I hit rock bottom. I, I, where is my life going? How could this happen? And you're at rock bottom and you're crying and the world is about to end. And then you get up in the morning and you have this new, bright, passionate start waiting for you. That's what it looks like. It's like, just like that. It happened just like that. 
very quickly. It's almost like the universe could see that you had no emotional emotion left to offer. You had become emotionally unavailable during this time of despair and depression and deceit. It shut you down. So it's like you had this impulsive moment after the breakdown that says, boom, I'm out of here. Okay? You've made the decision to, to, re, to remove yourself from this mental conflict that you've been living in. And you follow your heart and, your, and, you, and you act with compassion toward yourself. Hmm. Interesting. Somebody has made a decision. They've made a decision to accept this new a new opportunity, this new growth, this new exciting journey, this new exciting path. Somebody has decided to accept it. I'm going to accept this this growth as it was. I'm going to accept this as growth. So that's what it is. And now I'm and now I have this new exciting beginning here. I've, I'm healing because this is healing. I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving and healing. And it feels as though as you do that, you become more involved. There's more self-love, okay? There's more compassion for you. Maybe your, your intentions change to positive. You start to think positive instead of negative. Interesting. I feel like somebody has been through a, like a dark night of the soul moment where they've hit rock bottom, and then all of a sudden there's a there's a like a uh, new spark that's lit suddenly, very very suddenly, which uh, f makes somebody make that solid decision, that clear decision to love themselves and and treat themselves kindly. Interesting, huh? So we're going to get some more cards because it's so open-ended. The Fool. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. So somebody has decided to act impulsively. Like I said, There's that's funnier than hell, huh? So, yeah, somebody is starting over. They're, they're going down a new path, okay? They're, they're taking a risk. They're not taking the past with them. They're letting go of the despair. They're letting go of the depression and... The anxiety and the paranoia and the mental conflict and they've made this impulsive decision to go on an adventure. Something you've been thinking about for a while anyway, obviously you have. Somebody's been thinking about this. They've been waiting for the right moment. They've taken the time to reflect on what has happened. They finally hit that rock bottom moment and boom, I'm stepping over the cliff. Goodbye. See ya. I know that I'm going to be happy and successful. Somebody has a lot of confidence and courage and willpower. To do what's right for them. That's what's happening here. Somebody is taking their they're taking their passion back. They're taking their power back. They're they're picking themselves up after a lot of heartache and hurt. And they're starting over. It's like there's been some sort of Jesus consciousness here. I'm awake. So anyway, I feel like today is a day where, or in, you know how these readings go. This is an energy I'm picking up on today. Whenever it resonates, it's kind of like a timeless reading. But I'm, I'm recording this for the 15th of May. Somebody has a new exciting adventure right in front of them. 
after a huge period of hurt and closed, being closed off. I had to close myself off for a little while. So somebody had, had closed themselves off and now they've taken all the time they need and they've woken up. Wake up call. So that's what today is about. It's about waking up. Starting a new path. With faith and trust. The worst is over. Talk to you later.